From Hollywood, it's the Tom Micah Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Micah. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Micah Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted villain. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks, big part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. (laughs) Now, you may recall recently we talked about a beauty pageant in Angola called Miss Landmine Angola. And there's actually a web page for Miss Landmine Angola. And if you go to our website, uh, blowmeuptom.com, uh, we've got a link uh, to see some of the photos of these young beauties uh, whose only shortcoming is, uh, well, they're short a leg. But uh, did any of them have, uh, some, did one of them have two legs missing? I, I think so. Yes. I know many of you uh, went and accessed that site. And uh, also, if you go to our MySpace page, myspace.com slash Tom Likas, we've got uh, a YouTube video there that shows a montage of some of the uh, some of the uh, the great moments of the Miss Landmine Angola pageant. And uh, that's one that, uh, I'll tell you what, you can put that on pay-per-view. Because I know there's some people out there who'd probably uh, get off on watching that. Tell you what. But speaking on things uh, that uh, you might get off watching, the good folks at uh, that fine publication, News of the World, which is a London tabloid, have published a series of photos of Heather Mills. You remember Heather Mills, right? Have we forgotten already? Heather Mills was uh, that haggardly bitch who was married to Paul McCartney, just my opinion, by the way. Uh, married to Paul McCartney. It took him to the cleaners in a big way. And uh, she also appeared on uh, Dancing with the Gimp, uh, Stars. Uh, she was on Dancing with the Stars. And uh, there she was in full prosthesis. Just uh, hobbling around the stage. It was very exciting, very inspiring, very nice. And now the good folks at News of the World have provided you, and if you go to our website, blowmeuptom.com, we've linked through to this. The good folks at News of the World have published photos of Heather Mills naked. That's right. Says here in one snap she is seen standing on just one limb without her artificial leg. In other pics, Heather is seen using her prosthetic limb for support. By the way, Gary was telling me he found these pictures interesting because she's just like, you know, leaning up against the wall with, uh, the, with her prosthetic leg, uh, you know, also leaning up against the wall. So what choice does she have? Of course she's leaning up against the wall. She has no choice. It says here the images were taken by photographer Tony McGee in 1999 before she met... Paul McCartney, who's now 65. It says here, Heather, 40, is said to have hoped to use these shocking images to promote her anti-landmine charity work. That's a good way to do it there. But after she got together with Paul, she decided not to release them. A source tells News of the World, Heather figured Paul would take a pretty dim view of suddenly a a load of nude pictures of her came out. <laughs> yes, yes. So now, of course, she couldn't care less if Paul takes a dim view. So uh, don't take my word for it. Go to our website, blowmeuptom.com, and take a look at these photos of Heather Mills. 
naked. Now, I will tell you that News of the World has, for whatever reason, I don't know if they've got decency laws in, in, in the United Kingdom or they're trying to get you to buy a copy of News of the World. or I don't know what it is, but uh, they've got the uh, a little a little censored label that appears over her hairier areas. Um, so you're not going to get like the, the full the full Monty here, but you're going to get the idea of what appeared in today's News of the World. And um, I don't know. <laughs> I just have to say this, and I don't care who hears it, okay? Uh, women with one leg, I don't care how hot you think they are. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. You know, and, and by the way, may I say, it has forever changed the way I look at Paul McCartney. I mean, you were one of the Beatles. You could get a chick with two goddamn legs, especially if you ended up paying her $41 million when she's on her way out the door. You could have gotten two legs. What is it with this guy? I mean, every woman on earth wanted to have sex with Paul McCartney at one time, and I'll bet many of them still do, just so they could say they were with a beetle, goddammit. And here's Paul McCartney. He's with one with has, who has one leg or half a leg, or whatever she, or a leg and a half or whatever she had. So I, I look at these photos and say to myself, does anybody get hot looking at this? And what kind of person is that? I mean, the Miss Landmine Angola contest was bad enough. What is it also with people trying to throw their surgery at us this way? Uh, I will also refer back a few years ago. Do you remember there were photographs of former fashion models who had had mastectomies? I think this was this the New York Times Sunday Magazine or somewhere. They 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 published topless photos of women who'd had their breasts removed. May I also say, uh, many of you know that I sign racks for well, not for a living, but it's certainly part of my gig. And uh, we've had more than one woman who's had a mastectomy come up and ask me to sign uh, whatever's left. Creeps me out. I'm sorry. Look, it would creep me out if it was done to me. It's not my job to raise your self-esteem or tell you how wonderful you are, give you positive reinforcement, okay? When you uh, when you have uh, done this, I understand you. If you have if you've had a mastectomy, you're doing it because you want to survive it, and that's the most important thing. Don't be posing naked in magazines, okay? Get the surgery, get your chemo, get your radiation, get better, uh, think positively, do well, live as, as well as you can the rest of your life, best quality of life you can. I think that's fantastic. But do not be posing topless in magazines. Don't do it, okay? Don't do it. And it's the same thing if you have had a leg cut off, okay, or blown off or whatever, I don't care if you're diabetic or you like uh, walking through minefields or whatever it is you like doing your free time. Uh, do not be posing naked with your stump out there for all to see. And by the way, if you look at some of these Heather Mills photos, uh, there's there's at least one photo where she's leaning up against the wall with, with her prosthetic device not on. So she's got the stump exposed. And then she's got the prosthetic device leaning up against the wall the way she's leaning up against the wall with a shoe on it. Now, it, I have to imagine there are some of you creepy people out there. This is a fetish, and some of you really get off on seeing this stuff, okay? I am not in your club. <laughs> I'm not, and I never will. I don't care how hot the person is. I really don't care. It can be the hottest goddamn, you know, if Jessica Alba stepped on a landmine, I, I'm sorry. The thrill is gone. I can't handle it. Yes, Penelope Cruz, Dean. Yes, forget it. Don't if she's if she walks over a landmine and gets her left leg blown off, I'm out. And even Penelope Cruz's sister, whatever her name is, out. I don't care how hot they are. We have talked over the years. Uh, occasionally, we've talked about this. There are some of you who uh, either have fetishes about this, or some of you who didn't find out that the other person had a deficiency in this department until you got them into the sack. And I've even had uh, conversations with people who uh, 
Discuss with me whether they had sex with the prosthetic device on or off. Now, I'm curious about how Paul McCartney did it. Because this brings the word uh, spinner a whole new definition. Tell you what. But uh, come on. Have you seen these photos of Heather Mills? Do you think this is hot? Have you ever actually been with somebody like that? Do you have this fetish? Do you think I'm a, a prude? Please do tell. Like it. Like 1 800 5800 Town. Like 1 800 5800 866. I got at least 10 women I can call right now who are between the 7 and the 10 who will come over here and do my every desire because of the things that Tom likes has taught me. It's the Tom Likes Show. The Tom Likas Show. I want 800 800 tom How many of you have seen the Heather Mills nude photos posing without her leg? Some of them she's posing with her leg. Some without. What do you think about that? 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Greg on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Not much. Hey, man, you know, I, I was thinking about this, and I was thinking, you know, what's wrong with dating a girl with just one leg? That's not a big deal. But now after you kind of put it this way, I've been thinking about naked pictures with girls with one leg, and it's just kind of kind of creeping me out, quite frankly. I I do not understand how this is going to draw attention to anything. Heather Mills is all about drawing attention to herself. She's, uh, in my view, the biggest attention whore of the last couple of years. And yeah, I mean, uh, really, is anybody getting hot looking at nude photos of her? Nah, now that I think about it, it kind of creeps me out. It just kind of, I laugh about it because I'm like, that's kind of disgusting now. I see where you're coming from, brother. All right, very good, Greg. Thank you so much. All right, blow me up. I'll blow you up, baby. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Robert on the Tom Liga show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? Pretty good. It's an honor to talk to you, buddy. Uh, it is well, indeed. I'm, a, I'm sorry. I said it is indeed. <laughs> um, well, I calling on a subject. Uh, I was with a girl about two years ago, and uh, she actually brought up the question. She's like, "Hey, if, if I uh, if I lost a limb or was." Uh, paralyzed or lost a leg or an arm would you still be with me and i told her heck no and uh she uh she broke up with me because of that really yeah and i was like are you crazy i was like i would never be with you even if you were all stumpy like you're crazy holy cow yeah she was pretty she was pretty peed off about that but i had <laughs> <laughs> to tell her how it was what is it with women who ask these questions yeah, I don't know why they... If, I, if I went through the witch, I've had that one. If I went through the windshield and I became a quadriplegic, would you be there? Well, you know what you what, what most people will say, but I know what the real truth is. Exactly. She wanted to hear the truth, I let her have it. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> All right, Tom, can you take me out uh Kobe style? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Yeah, the air I breathe. She's so special to me. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here's Joe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Father? How are you doing? Not much, son. How are you? I'm very, very good, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm really nervous enough, but you're my, you're my, you're my hero. Dude. Seriously, man. Love Anyways, that. Um, but, but, um, I just here for a little bit, and then... I can't really tell, but she only had one eye, bro. One eye? How did, how did you figure it out? Uh, because she had long hair. She always kept like, covering her face a little bit, but I, don't, I never really want to ask her because I didn't want to seem kind of rude. But um, she finally told me that I supposed to answer back then, blah, 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 you know. And she had only one eye. <laughs> and it turns out that she was actually married at the time, too, and I was kind of seeing her. And then she was trying to like, make me, like, Changed the way I was after that. I was like, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to deal with this. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> so I just cut her loose. I was like, man, it's too lazy. You're married. Go back to your husband, blah, blah, blah. And, and yeah, so that was it, bro. <laughs> that was crazy, though. <laughs> Did she pop the eye out for you? <laughs> Actually, she never showed it to me. Dude. She she had no eye whatsoever. It was just like... What, 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 what? She did not have a glass eye? She had nothing whatsoever. She just covered up with some glue and stuck her hair next to it, and that's it. <laughs> she was ready to go. Holy cow. And you were okay with that? Because uh, you know what? She was really hot as hell, and everybody wanted to, like, you know, like, like do her, do it, but um, she actually came to me and she was telling me... Did everybody know she had one eye? You know what? Everybody in the office was, like, not in the office, because you know, I'm a driver, so I go to, like, different buildings, all, like, all day. And they, all, my, like, all my drivers were like, oh, we know what, she's pretty hot, but what's up with her? Like, she was, she was coming in her face all the time, you know, you know? I'm going to go check it out see what's up. By the way, I got a message for the people with glass eyes out there. <laughs> we can tell you've got a glass eye. <laughs> in case you're wondering if we know, yes. Yes, yeah. we do. You know, the way I see it, you know, it just might as well just be, be cool, you know, just tell everybody what the hell. We're trying to cover it up. So uh, what, do you, what do you do when you don't have a glass eye? What do you, you put, like, uh, some gunite in there? What do you? Uh, she put some glue and just. Cover glue. Her. You put glue and just cover her, like her what, hair. Or, or what her was eyelid. she gluing her eyelid shut? What, 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 what do you no, do to she, cover that area? She she, she covered her hair. Just put glue on the hair. No, no, come on. Yeah, no, there, what do you put in the socket? The eye socket. Oh, there was nothing in there. I don't know. I, I didn't go that far. <laughs> 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 I didn't want to see it. <laughs> you didn't want to. You didn't ask any questions. Yeah, I asked questions, but she was getting like really uncomfortable about it. So I was like, you know what. Uh, you know, it's gonna be big. It's gonna turn into a big deal, and you know what? It's not even worth it. You know, it's whatever. But I just <laughs> something. You know. Anyway, Tom, can you blow me up? <laughs> I certainly can. Yikes! One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. It's John on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Doing okay. Yeah, I was telling um. This, I met this girl from Long Beach, and she had one leg. And when I first met her, she told you know she told me about how she was playing. I met her off like a, a a chat line. And when I got down person, you know she had two legs. I guess the one with the uh, the fake leg, but you know she had like a little limp. But late, you know later on that night, um, you know, we went back to her place, and she actually took it off, and it was gone. Like the whole leg was gone up to the. Uh, I guess as far as it, you know, it can be gone. How how it was gone up to where? Like. Uh, no thigh, no thigh at all. So just no thigh at all. Yeah, just like a little, you know. It was even with the vagina area, so you know. So it was all the way like up to her hip. There was just nothing there. But yeah, basically, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And yeah, how, yeah. wait, so so she had a prosthetic device that covered that whole area. Yeah, it was a it was a whole leg. She you know she had like a little limp. You know, like like to either like, teeter totter like. Peter Tartar, like, like a penguin walk, almost. I see. Uh-huh. That's very and, sexy. <laughs> uh, she, had, she, you know, she, she, was, she had a nice shape and everything, and we actually did do it without the leg. She had a MySpace? No, she had a, a nice shape. Oh, a nice I thought you said she had a MySpace. I couldn't hear what you said. No, she had a nice shape. A nice face. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's how you get away with that. No one's looking at your uh, missing leg. No, but the sex was okay. Like, actually, with the leg gone, we was able to do more positions, and it was like, you know, a good a good thrusting position. Yeah, well, let's say, let without getting graphic here, let's say you uh, put her over on all threes. <laughs> like, yeah, like how do you, how do you, what do you hold her up with? You have to put, like, a couple of phone books under there? What do you do? No, we actually did that position, and it worked. Like, she had, you she did. had good balance. I, I, she had great balance. <laughs> she had great balance. <laughs> that is balance. Yeah, and I actually talked to her a couple more times. It just got, like, really embarrassing because um, <laughs> in Long Beach, they have these, uh, I guess, like, buses for, like, old people or disabled people. And she right. used that as her transportation. And, uh, you know, I, that's, like, one of the worst things, that you know, about her. Like, you know, we all used to catch these buses or whatever because my car was kind of small. But I had a two-seater. And, um, so you got to ride the buses. Uh, you got to park yeah, in handicapped yeah. spaces. <laughs> yeah, we were on the yellow bus. <laughs> oh, very nice. Well, that is fantastic. Yeah. And she, uh, she just kind of limped along. Uh, yeah. Um, she said she had cancer. That's why she had lost it or whatever. But 
other than that, she was a, a real cool person. It was, you know, a great sexual experience. It was just like, you know, taking her home to meet people and thinking if you were to do that, it wouldn't be good. Yeah, you, know? you could. You could. Hey, mom, this is my uh, my new squeeze. <laughs> this is this is Peg. <laughs> Yeah, it was it's my really girlfriend crazy. Eileen. Um, what? I, Eileen. <laughs> you know, I was doing it before the, the Beatle guy was doing it, so. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> could you marry somebody like that? No, I could It would just be like, you know, something, something to do, something, something for fun. My goodness. Nah. That's what you think about it long term, it really wouldn't work. But, like, as far as fetishes or, you know, you know, what the hell, I'm already here. Yeah. yeah. Wow. All right. So, John, you would do it again? Uh, no, not. I don't know what was wrong with me at that point in my life or whatever, but, you know, it was, t you know, it was tell, and, you know, why not? I guess I had low standards back then. I'm waiting to meet a chick with no vocal cords. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm all over that. Um, well, over there, I have somebody to meet you over there. Yeah, I'll be all over it too, Tom. <laughs> I've always said if Helen Keller had a hot granddaughter, I'm in. Oh, man. But you should give it a try, Tom. <laughs> I am not giving that a try. <laughs> So even with Jessica Alba, like you said, you were really like... No, I'm out. If Jessica Alba lost a leg, I'm out. I'm sorry, I'm out. I can't do it. But everything else would still be working good, though. Yeah, I, I, leg would be yeah but, but I, got, I got something that wouldn't be working good if I had to look at that. <laughs> so look at that right sewed-up stump. Come on. It's crazy. Uh, it is crazy. Yes, it is. But I've been listening to you for like six months now, and um, everything has been good. Like, at first I really thought she was a crazy guy, but you really know what you're talking about. And I've been listening, I've been telling friends about you, coworkers, and I listen to you every day at work. Sounds good to me, John. And all right, keep taking me out Kobe style. I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number if you're just tuning in. The ex-wife of Paul McCartney, Heather Mills, has released a series of photographs, naked photographs of her with and without her prosthetic leg. And we've linked to them on blowmeuptom.com. You go there, you'll see it. Uh, you can do it uh, either with your computer or your cell phone or whatever. I'll tell you what, log your iPhone on blowmeuptom.com and then get a look at this. Tell me what you think. Dan. On the Tom Likas show, hello. Hello, Professor. Hey. You guys are sick and demented. Is this 29 dimensions of compatibility? <laughs> but I tell you what, Tom, I'm a married man. I wish I could find me a woman like one of those. Have a good day. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Kyle on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Kyle. Dude, last year I was at uh, San Diego Comic Con, or uh, Geek Fest, if you want to call it that, and they were uh, promoting that new Quentin Tarantino Grindhouse movie, the, yes. uh, the double feature, and they had, uh, you know, there's that girl in there with the uh, the stripper that loses her leg, and the guy straps on a machine gun to the end of it, and she starts shooting and shooting grenades and everything. Yeah. Well, I saw a girl dressed up like that, just, you know, just up at the booth. I thought, well, that's not real great. She's not that good looking. You know, she has a little bit of a tummy. I would only be impressed if she had a machine gun on her leg. And I walked through the crowd and bam, it's actually a girl missing the part of her leg with the machine gun strapped on. All that. Boy, there's, I'll tell you what, there's a way to fight off rape. You're <laughs> missing a leg and you replace your leg with a machine gun. Don't tell anyone your prosthetic device is a machine gun. <laughs> this could be like, be by the way, oh, for you uh, screenwriters out there, this is like, uh, remember those movies in the 70s, Death Wish with Charles Bronson? Here's Death Wish for the 21st century. <laughs> you have a woman who's out to fight crime, 
So if she loses her leg, she has a machine gun attached as a prosthetic device, and then she goes like uh, late at night down dark alleys and bad neighborhoods, and then when somebody tries to rape her, she puts her leg up and just starts blowing these guys away. Yeah, now, there's a movie. That's a goddamn movie. Except she's got to tell them to wait. You know, hold on, let me lay down so I can put prop this gun up on. That's right. Because- I'm not strong enough to lift it up. <laughs> but the nice thing is with that movie is that, you know, finally one-legged girls have a costume besides pirate for then Halloween. They, that's right. <laughs> then they have a reason for living. There you go. Yes. They feel good about themselves. Thanks, Tom. Could you blow me up? I certainly can. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Philip on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Tom. Hello, Philip. How you doing? Doing okay. Awesome. Listen, Tom, have you ever heard of a girl born with one with one breast? I don't even know how that could happen. Well, I dated one, man, about a year ago, man. So hey, you're hey, telling hey, me that uh, one of the breasts just didn't develop? Uh, that's what she said. I mean, I, don't, I didn't see any scar or anything, so I was like, I don't know, I mean... Imagine when you're like, like in the sack or whatever, and you just got one breast. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's one left. That that makes a big difference, right? So I it wasn't. Know. It wasn't. So it wasn't lopped off. It just never came in. Ah, uh, yeah, it just didn't develop, man. I mean, like one is like a, a, a high B, and the other one is like a barely a nipple. Wow. Barely a nipple. <laughs> hey, Tom, man. Uh, so she calls me back, right? She wants to go out again, man. But I left her like a year ago. Should I, should I go back or what? Should I just like text it or what? Do you do you miss that? Uh, not really, man. I mean, I mean, can't say that on the air. I'd love to, oh, but all right, but we can't. But hey, <laughs> all I'm gonna say to you is this, all right? I mean, look, uh, if if you're paying full price for a chick, I want both breasts. <laughs> exactly. All uh, right, now so- I'll tell you what. Yeah, I, uh, think of it this way: if, if these girls offered a discount, you know, like if I go to Ralph's and I get a dented can of corn, you know, I get a discount yeah. on that. So I would say, if a chick with one leg uh, would say, you know what, we don't even have to go out to dinner, just do me. I might have a different opinion about it. I don't want to hobble in the handicapped entrance with her and then and then have to pay full price. Right, right. Yeah. So a chick with one a chick with there. one breast, if she was offering, you know, sex for fifty uh, percent off. <laughs> uh, Tom, I just probably uh, want to take you to dinner. Maybe uh, I'll buy her a uh, happy meal and go to her house, and that's it, huh? Yes. All right, man. All right, I think I'm gonna give her a call, man. Why not? Why not? If she wants to give it up, why not? Yeah, here, I, I'll tell you what. You'll get uh, extra brownie points if you get uh, take out that cell phone, take a couple of photos, send them over here. All right, man. Hey, hey, I guess you got to buy her a six-pack and, you know, hey, it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, it's great talking to you, man. Uh, First-time caller, uh, uh, about a half-year listener, man. I love your show, man. Philip, thank you for that. <laughs> Like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. You have zero paternal instinct to thread your seed and procreate and be a dad. Oh, well, I like spreading my seed mostly into the other end of a latex condom. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5-800-TOM, that's your telephone number. All right, we've taken it the next step here. <laughs> if you go to our MySpace page, uh, we uh, actually have uh, dug up a video of a woman who will show you what it's like to uh, take off her prosthetic device. Just go to uh, MySpace.com slash Tom Likas. You get a good close look at that. You tell me if... Um, Tell me if you could do that. You go to myspace.com slash Tom Likas. Look at the video. It's now posted. It's the second video up there. Give me your reaction to that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Tanisha on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yes. 
I'm calling for all the ladies. You are a horrible man. Really? How so? You are a horrible man. You, you woman bad, something terrible. Give me an example. Everything you say. No, no. Give, give me, me one example. Car and everything that comes. Well, out you of should mouth. be able. Then you should be able to come up with one specific example. If you period want no voice boxes in the woman's mouth, you just want them silent. Yeah. Just, you're horrible. What's wrong with that? You're horrible. Some women just, just don't know when lonely. to shut up. They don't know when to shut up. I just think you're lonely. As lonely? Yeah. If I was lonely, why would I want a woman to shut up? No, you're lonely. Now, are and you a sad. psychiatrist or a psychologist? What, what are your credentials here? <laughs> I work on the docks, honey. You work where? I'm a longshoreman. So you're a longshoreman. I work 24-7, and it's all the same. What's Young all the same? Never grow up. Well, again, darling, uh, you know, nobody forces you to listen. This is a show that is made by and for guys. Yeah, and I need to listen the kind of guys that's out here. So well, that's there you I go. Did. What do you mean out here? Did you come here from somewhere else? This world. Oh, this world. This out here in the world. You guys are crazy, and it's ridiculous, and you wonder why you're alone, because you don't have any kind of manners at all. Well, darling, this is not a show for manners. This is a show for guys. It's a horrible show for guys. You're basically telling people to get divorces. Oh, I've I've told them many times. That's not that's not uh, that's showing. Horrible. That's that that's not showing hate for women. That's just telling guys why do they need to be married to you? That's horrible. Why do you say that? It is. Why? I just think you haven't found that right true love, and when you do, you'll you'll change. No, because uh, when I talk to a woman, it sounds like talking to you. That that always reminds me of uh, my mission in life, which is to avoid marrying somebody like you. Oh, well, you don't know me, so you can't I, I, I've heard every... Well, you don't know me either, but I'm you've got a pretty strong you know opinion, and I've got an opinion about you, and I know the guys out there agree with me. Yeah, well, you're a jerk. That's oh, it. really? I'm a very rich jerk that could buy and sell you. Well, that's your, that's your thing on it. That's a fact. No, that's not a fact, honey. Un unless you're the richest longshoreman in the world. I don't, I don't do the butterballs, honey. I'm cool on those. Well, that's great. Too bad. <laughs> you have a nice day. Darling, by the way, I have no interest in having you, being with you. If you're a woman who's a longshoreman, yeah. there's not a lot of nines and tens working down there on the docks there. Yeah, well, you just met one. No. No, I haven't. Yeah. No. No, I haven't. All right, Tom. Well, you have fun, butterball, all right? I'm living it up, dear. That you, you, right, just keep being, you just keep being a bitch. I sure will. You I know you will, butterball. darling. Grease it on up, honey. Well, I'll tell you what. You bring it down here. We'll give you an evaluation. Let's give Grease you. Uh, up, honey. Let's give you a once over here, That's dear. Come on down. Butterball on you bad wouldn't bad come down here because you know when you come down here, and bring that longshoreman ass of yours down here. You know damn well what we're gonna find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> have a good day. Ah, you have a good day too, darling. Bitter. Can't find a man who makes as much as I do working down there at the uh, port of Long Beach or San Pedro, wherever you work. <laughs> oh yeah. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone. Have you been on our MySpace page yet? Have you seen this video? You got to see it. You have got to see it. I'm telling you, those of you guys who say that you can do this, I want you to watch the video that we have up there right now. I want you to see it. Go to our MySpace page and take a look. Now, 150 people have viewed the page since I first mentioned it, so that's a pretty uh, rapid clip. Go look at it, and then give me your reaction to that. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Dante on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Uh, hey, Mr. Tom, like this. Hey, Pops, how we doing? Doing okay, Dante. I, I called in to say, talk about John. I did his prosthetic chick, but I also did a couple of long shormans, and yeah, it ain't a bunch of nines and tens down there. Fours and fives. Fours and, and fives. Money, so they think they eight to nine. But <laughs> fours and fives. <laughs> but yeah, the chick in Long Beach. I drove the... The handicap service form. I know exactly who you talked about. 
her vagina is like her her leg is cut off at the vagina. So yeah, you can do some possession. Does the leg go all the way over to the vagina? I didn't even know. No, nah, it's like even. It's like exactly even. When I think about that, it's like uh, now it reminds me of like carving the turkey on Thanksgiving. You know, when you pull that drumstick off and you, like you pull it a little too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not really there, but you can you can turn it and it. turn it in different ways. Wow. How it matter? The chick, the chick is hot though. She she got a cute face, but I'm not saying she hot. Wow. She's she hot in the pants because. <laughs> My dispatcher sent me over there to go pick her up so he can talk to her. Wow. You know, they was having a little thing going. And when she saw me, she wanted to, you know, let me try it out. Really? So, yeah. <laughs> she, uh, I know exactly who So she did is. you try it out? Yeah, I tried it out. How was it? I went back a second time. You went back for seconds? Only seconds, though. I couldn't do it after that. <laughs> <laughs> but it was all right. It wasn't that bad, but, yeah, it, it's nothing you can floss at all. But no. she had a prosthetic leg, and when I first met her, she had the prosthetic on. And, like, as soon as I came to her house, she had the one leg, so she was walking around on crutches. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> So I had to kind of, like, make myself do it that day. But once I tried it, the second time wasn't that hard. Oh, boy. You mean <laughs> doing it? You mean doing it wasn't that hard? Yeah, do it because she, okay. you know, <laughs> she seduced me. So I'm sure she seduced everybody. But... I'm telling you, no, no woman with one leg could seduce me. She couldn't do it. The minute yeah. I'm privy to that information, I'm out. Yeah, and, and she kind of hits you with it as soon as you come to her house because there's no prosthetic legs inside the house, I guess. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, when you're at home, you're normal. Yeah, I so know. Her normal. I see. And, yeah, but she was a good girl. No complaints. I, I can tell you're a satisfied customer. But three times, nah. Two times, I... Yeah. Oh, the chicks like that have a wishbone? I'm just curious. Speaking of turkey. Nah, I mean, the wishbone already broken. Just have that. I it. see. Just, <laughs> I would check. <laughs> oh, my God. 1-800-5800-TOM. Just add a little stove top and you're all set. Uh, Dan on the top like this show, this show is really tasteless. Hello. That was so wrong. I know. I noticed you didn't tune out though. <laughs> oh my gosh. First time caller, long time listener. Tom, Excellent. How are you? I'm doing okay. Um well, by the way, the MySpace page is on fire. We're getting like a hundred views every every two minutes. It's out of control. I'll check it out when I get home. I'm in the car. Yeah, you gotta see this video. Uh, I was a victim of a bait and switch when I was doing some phone uh, phone work. I picked up a girl on the phone, and uh, uh, she invited me over to her house down in uh, Inglewood. And I went down there and found out that uh, you know when we're getting in bed, she says, "Oh, I got, let me. I got to tell you something." I'm like, "Oh gosh, what?" She had uh, her pectoral muscle was missing. Her left pectoral muscle. Yeah was missing i so what I does that mean it, for you it means she's she has one breast so wait, wait no but i thought her muscle was missing why is the breast missing well there was just nothing there it was like there was one normal one and then one just like a flat nothingness there was there a nipple i think there was you're not sure <laughs> This is like 20 years ago, and I got to tell you, if you had this show, if I was listening to this show 20 years ago, <laughs> you would have saved me from a horrible marriage. You didn't marry that, did you? No, no, I did not. This, okay. is, this was a one-time thing. I actually, it was like the first time I. But you pressed it. ahead and did it anyway. I did. I was, I was so horny, and I was just there. And what am I going to do? Yeah, I'm already there. Already driven down to Inglewood. What are you going to do? Our email address, tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.